Rare diseases include some of the most serious of all illnesses and impacts millions of patients worldwide. Pfizer's dedicated research unit focusing on rare diseases is working to help people with genetic disorders like 15-year-old Jake in the United States. Nick Harper went to meet Jake and his family to discover the potential impact of this research for patients around the world. Family time is particularly important for 15-year-old Jake Marazzo. He suffers from Duchenne muscular dystrophy, or DMD. He does not let it affect him. And I think most people say, well, you guys are so positive. Well, really, we follow his lead. He's just an amazing young man. Like, anyone that comes in contact with him is blessed. Because he doesn't let it get him down. So why should you? He was diagnosed with the rare progressive muscle wasting disease that mainly affects boys when he was eight years old. Early on, he was not in a wheelchair. He was still walking, and then he progressed to a, an electric scooter and then eventually to the wheelchair. We were kind of like devastated. My son's in a wheelchair. Jake's like, yay, I'm not falling anymore. I mean, you know, I have a way to get around. Jake's four-year-old nephew, Tyler, also has DMD. It's when Tyler was diagnosed and we told Jake, and he's like, so what? He has Duchenne. So do I. We'll help him. Before research showed us more about the disease, children typically died in their teens. Steroids and respiratory therapies can now help patients live well into their 20s, but there are still no approved treatments that can stop or reverse DMD. Jake, though, doesn't let the disease define him. He regularly acts in school plays and musicals and recently did a triathlon with his mother to raise money for his foundation that helps other children with the disease. You can have not only a bonding experience with your parent, but you can also do that sort of stuff even though you're in a wheelchair. And of course, I've, uh, theater is something I'm very passionate about and stuff I've done to raise awareness to say, I want to keep doing this. So a cure would allow me to continue doing what I really love to do. Jake and his family are visiting Pfizer's research center in Boston. It's a chance for the scientists working on the treatments to learn more about a patient's experience with DMD and connect the rare disease to an actual person. Hi. Hi. Jane Owens helped establish Pfizer's rare disease unit in 2010. She's drawn great inspiration from her meetings with Jake. He inspires me because he's not letting the disease defeat him. So I take from that that I shouldn't let the ups and downs of drug development defeat me and I should continue to work as hard as I can with my team to make a medicine for Jake. They aim to ease the symptoms of the disease and ultimately improve the patient's quality of life. To do that, they're focusing on highly specialised, potentially one-time, gene therapy treatments. We think if we can attack the disease at that fundamental level and give back what's missing, that has the chance of being successful in terms of providing um, benefit and rescuing the disease in these boys. The team is working with patient cells to try and mimic muscle function. The therapy would mean introducing a miniaturized gene to replace the defective gene. And Jake is here to help to put a human face on the disease. The Rare Disease Research Unit is committed to making a lasting impact and these patient interactions help to create a passion in the people here to find life-changing innovations. The current limited options for Jake and thousands of other DMD patients have spurred a sense of urgency in Pfizer's team. Jake himself hopes a new treatment will come in time to help his nephew Tyler. Being positive about it is very important because I think it's very important for hope. Um, you know, having hope is like one of the most important things in life, in my opinion. You have to have hope.